to the last 16 we go now over in the African Gabon nations with some nations, uh, big ones, already out and some little minnows squeaking their through to the knockouts. Who's going to go through? Who's going to go home? We're going to take a little look. Next. That's right, folks. Back once again with another prediction video today. We're looking forward to the last 16, of course. Some big surprises, of course, await us in those last 16 with some big, big nations not in the competition no more. But what about the ones that are still in it? What about the minnows? The Namibias, of course. Can they get through to the last eight? Uh, of course, we'll take a little look at it all of it in a second. Well, if you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe and bang up the all things AFCON related, Blackburn Rovers related, world football related. Oh, here, boys. Under one Ruski, that's right, of course. Uh, who's your tip for the title? Let me know down below in the old comments section. But let's, of course, jump in the deep end. Now, we'll look what we're talking about, guys, as we recap those last matches over in the last 16. So here are we a go before we jump into the L bracket itself. That's right. So kick it all off, uh, a recap of those uh, Group A games, uh, which included... Uh, Nigeria, 1-0 winners over Guinea-Bissau, that's right. I actually went with a 2-0 win myself, ain't too shabby on that one. Meanwhile, one of the shocks of the tournament, Ecuador Guinea, big 4-0 win over the host, Ivory Coast. Cost the man his job as well, he is out on his ear as Ivory Coast try to salvage their tournament. Meanwhile, into Group B, we saw Mozambique and Ghana with a 2-2 draw in that one, which eliminated the Black Stars. My tip for the title, absolute shocking stuff there. I went with a 1-0 win myself. On that one, one of the stars of the tournament so far has been Cape Verde, 2-2 draw against Egypt. I went with a 1-1 draw myself on that one, so 8-2 shabby on that one. Cameroon, a big 3-2 winners over Gambia. I went with a 1-0 win myself. They're going through as well. And we've also seen Senegal, 2-0 uh, win for them as the champions look to make it back-to-back -back titles. Into the back end of the, of the competition we go now. And we saw Mauritiana with a big monstrous 1-0 win over Algeria to send them through and send Algeria home. Goodness gracious me, but Angola continue to surprise us all. Two new winners, Burkina Faso. I went the two on with the other way. Absolutely shocking stuff as well. Namibia, of course, got a little soft spot for them because Ryan Niambi in the back there. Ex Rover, Neil Neil draw against Mali. I went with the two new win myself for Mali again. Namibia squeaking through to the last 16. Join them will be South Africa. That's right. Neil Neil draw against Tunisia, one of the <coughs> favourites at the start of the tournament. And uh, they're out. South Africa through. Bafana Bafana. Uh, of course, we'll see how far they can go in this competition. And then Zambia against Morocco. Of course, Morocco just doing their thing right now. One of the winners for them. And with a two-on win, not too shabby on that one, of course. And the DR Congo with a new-new draw against Tanzania uh, to set themselves through. Tanzania joins Zambia on the exit door. That's right. So those are the last results. And, of course, these are quick look at the tables. And as you can see, Ecuador, Guinea, and Nigeria top the charts in Group A. They will be joined by Ivory Coast, who did finish as one of the third, best three third-place teams. Join them also will be Cape Verde and Egypt out of Group B. Ghana, uh, they unfortunately are out, as are Mozambique as well. Into Group C, Senegal go through, Cameroon go through, and Guinea will join them as well. As also one of the third place best teams. Angola top the charts in Group D. Burkina Faso also there, and Mauritiana one of the third place teams as well. And a massive shock that is to us all. Into Group E, we see Mali, South Africa, and Namibia. They're going through after that monstrous point uh, for them. Uh, of course, and they'll be joined by Morocco and DR Congo, of course. But how does that all break down into the bracket? Well, let's take a look at it now, of course, as we look from one side of the bracket to the other. And then, of course, we're going to give our predictions as to who will make it through to the quarterfinals. We're going to start with, of course, one of the zinger zingers right here. It is Nigeria. It's Cameroon. So let's get in the deep end now on this one then. Now, these two sides, according to my data, played seven times to turn four. Four wins in Nigeria, one with Cameroon, two draws, of course. Now, the biggest win for Nigeria was a 4 0 win, scoring 13 goals in total. Of course, of those seven games, 1.86 goals a game on average. Meanwhile, Cameroon, they come in actually with just the one uh, victory over uh, Nigeria, and that was a one-day win, scoring five goals in total, 0.71 goals a game on average. Now, Cameroon, 58% uh, form for them right now, just one defeat the last six. So because the Nigeria side, also on 58% form for them, one defeat the last six, of course. But these two sides looking for quite recently, back in June 2021, it was a nil-nil draw. Cameroon coming into this on back-to-back. -back uh, a clean sheets against Nigeria. So Nigeria coming into this without a win over Cameroon since they last played in the African Cup of Nations knockout stage. Around this, this stage as well, around 16 in 2019, was a 3-2 win for Nigeria. That's right. Of course, quick look at the bookies odds right here, right now. We've got to Nigeria 11-10 for the victory. 16-5 is, of course, Cameroon. And 2-1 is, of course, the draw, which, of course, will drag it into extra time. None of that for me. Going to go with a 2-1 win for the Super Eagles. I think they've been better. They've not been scoring the goals, but they've been playing quite tight 
at the back. I think they'll have enough in the tank to keep out Cameroon. They are joined. Uh, who will join them in that uh, quarterfinal match? Well, it'll be between Angola and Namibia. So, of course, looking at, realistically, you're looking at the winner of that Nigeria-Cameroon game to go maybe at least the semi-finals. Now, these two sides have never played each other, Angola and Namibia, and they're going to lock horns on the 27th of January, of course. Angola coming into on 67% form for them right now, unbeaten in the last six games, picking a couple of wins in succession as well. Up against Namibia, 50% form for them right now, 1-2 loss to and drawn to heading into this one, of course, on the back of a back-to-back uh, -back goalless affairs for them. They haven't scored it since the opening day. They've only got one goal all competition. Up against a free score and Angola side have scored in every goal, uh, every game in the competition in total. They've scored six as well. Quick look at the boogies odds between these two sides. Angola six to five for the victory. 13 to five at scores in Namibia and two to one is of course the draw. None of that again for me. I'm gonna go with just the one nil with Angola. They'll continue their goal scoring exploits to go through to that quarter final. Of course who will also join them on this side of the bracket between Cape Verde and Mariana coming at you on Monday the 29th of January. Now these two sides are Again, never played each other, according to my eyes, in recent times anyway. Kate Verde on 67% for them right now, just one defeat in the last six. Of course, looking pretty good at the moment. And of course, one of the, the surprise packages so far of this year's AFCON. Meanwhile, Murciana, just happy to be here, I think. Uh, of course, just one win in the last six, 33% form for them. Again, that one win out of the three games was enough to get them through into the last 16. Of course, coming at you right here, right now. Uh, of course, Cape Verde, again, just like uh, just for Angola scoring in every game of the competition so far. In total, they've scored, what are they looking at? Uh, seven goals in total. Up against the Murciana side. Also, pretty pretty heavy, uh, pretty handy in front of the goal. Scoring three times already in three games, of course, but they need to see if they can get them uh, goal scoring uh, exploits into victories. Now, these, this match, according to the book, is 11 to 10 on as your Cape Verde, 90 to 10 is your draw, 70 to 4 is, of course, Murciana on this one. But again, Cape Verde been phenomenal so far, and I think that run will continue uh, for them as they push it into the uh, quarterfinal stage. 3 1 win for me over Murciana. They'll go through. Murciana will go home, of course. Who will join them? Uh, of course, between Morocco and San South Africa coming at you on Tuesday, January the 30th, of course. Now, these two sides, again, locked horns six times in the past. It's 2004, two wins from Morocco, one for Bafana, Bafana, and three draws, of course. Now, the way the biggest win for Morocco was a 2-1 win, scoring eight goals in total, 1.33 goals a game. Meanwhile, Bafana, Bafana, commented on a 2-1 win, their biggest, so in fact, their only win, scoring seven goals, of course, over the six games, 1.17 goals a game on average. Now, South Africa on 50% form for them right now, 1-2 lost to and drawn to, uh, but Morocco, of course, unbeaten in the last eight games, on 92% form over the last six as well. Now these two sides, the last locked horns back in June 2023 was a 2-1 win for South Africa. That's right, that one and only victory of course uh, as they look forward to locking horns once again but this time for a spot in the last eight. The odds here for this one, we've got Morocco 7-4 on for the victory, 11-4 is the draw, 11-2 is also your South Africa here but Morocco are good, they're class, uh, not only they're good in African terms, they're good in worldwide terms. Two new win for them, they're through to the quarterfinals but who will join them on the other side of the bracket? We're going to start here right, here right now as we take a little look at uh, Mali up against Burkina Faso coming at you on Tuesday, January the 30th. Now, these two sides have, uh, again, uh, played each other uh, just the three times since 2020, or, or 2004, sorry. Uh, three times since 2004. Two is Mali, one for Burkina Faso, and zero draws. Now, Mali, 3-1 win their biggest score, in, uh, five goals in total of the course of those three games, 1.67 goals a game on average. Burkina Faso, 58% form for them right now. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Their biggest win, their only win, in fact, was a 2-1 win, scoring three goals in the three games. That's a goal a game on average. Average. Now Burkina Faso, 58% form for them right now. Just one defeat in the last four, of course. Up against the Mali side, unbeaten in the last 10 games. We're looking at A-OK -okay at the moment. Now, these two sides did lock horns back in January 2021. It was a 1-0 win for Mali. That's right. Of course, Mali coming to this. Uh, just one goal conceded so far in the whole tournament. It was against Tunisia in a 1-1 draw. Burkina Faso uh, started off with a 1-0 win victory, but it's, since then, it's all been downhill for them. But can they turn it around against a Mali side? The 6-5 uh, Mali are the favourites here with the bookies. 11-4 is, of course, your Burkina Faso, and 90-10 is, of course, your draw here. I am going to stick with my hopes and an and early pick. I think Burkina Faso will be a problem. Uh, they're going to get it. They raise their game uh, and, of course, be a challenger for this side of the bracket. Kick it off for although we have the game of the round, surely. It is, of course, Senegal up against Ivory Coast. The hosts, of course, hanging on by the skin of the teeth. They've changed their manager and everything. Uh, of course, Senegal, Ivory Coast, come on the 29th of January. He played each other five times, 2006. Two wins for Senegal, one more for Ivory Coast. Two draws, of course, the biggest win for Senegal. Just a 1-0 win, scoring four goals in total. 0.80 goals a game on average. Ivory Coast, one and only win. Of course, that one and only win was a 3-1 win, scoring four goals in the five games. 0.80 goals a game on average. Back-to-back -back defeats for Ivory Coast. 67% form for them right now. Of course, they're hosting the event. They want to go far, but they're up against the champions, the holders. 92% form for them right now, winning four in the spin. Unbeaten in the last seven. And, of course, 
the team to stop in this competition right now. Last time around, these two sides did lock on. So it was a one-day win back in January 2023. Uh, of course, that was an African Nations Championship way back. Uh, that's qualifying round, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but of course, over the last three games, in fact, the last four games between the two sides, it's one win apiece and a couple of draws as well. So these two sides are evenly matched on paper. Uh, but the bookies have this one, of course, Senegal 7-5 for the victory. 9-4 to four is Ivory Coast. 2-1, to one, of course, is the draw. They've got the fans behind them. Will they get the victory? Don't see it happening myself. I think Senegal are really a league above. And realistically, on paper, you would fancy a Morocco-Senegal final at this stage. But of course, there's a lot of football to be played before that. Meanwhile, we've got Egypt against DR Congo coming at you on uh, the 28th of January at the Laurent Puku Stadium. Now, these two sides have played each other four times since 2006. We've got four wins Egypt, nothing for DR Congo, and zero draws. Of course, Egypt, 4-1 win their biggest, scoring nine goals in those four games, 2.25 goals a game on average. DR Congo, just the two goals scored in those four games, 0.50 goals a game on average. DR Congo, without a win in five, of course, on 42% form for them at the moment. Meanwhile, Egypt, three games without a win, 75% form for them right now. But, of course, they are unbeaten in the last uh, eight games. However, the last three have been draws, of course. Coming at you, though, last round uh, between these two sides was in June 2019. It was a 2-0 win for Egypt. They've got back-to-back -back clean sheets against the Democratic Republic of Congo. And, of course, the bookies have them favoured here. 11-8 for the victory. 12-5, of course, is your DR Congo. 90-10 is your draw. No Mo Salah, I remember that. But I think I think this is a tough one. Uh, it's going to be a 1-1 one, one win for Egypt. And then they'll take it to a, a draw, bring it through on penalties, and they'll squeak through to the last 16. Well, they'll take on the winners of the uh, of the Guinea battle. That's right. Equatorial Guinea up against Guinea, of course. Coming out on the 28th of Jan at the Stade Olympique Alassane Utara. Now, these two sides have never played each other, according to my eyes. Uh, but Equatorial Guinea have been one of the surprise packages of the tournament so far. 11 games now unbeaten. They're on 83% form for them right now. Up against the Guinea side, 58% form for them right now. Two defeats for the last six. And, of course, one one lost one, drew one in the tournament so far. Guinea, though, coming to this back-to-back uh, -back clean sheets for them. Of course, just the one goal. Actually, scrap that. Back-to-back. -back. No, no, nothing, nothing. They've, they've just scored a couple of goals. They, the course coming is on the back of their defeat against Senegal. Meanwhile, Equatorial Guinea have been the free scorers of, of the of the tournament. Nine goals in total. Back to back, four goals uh, scored in each one of those games. The bookies have them favoured as well. Three to one, actually. Actually, take that back. The bookies have Guinea the favourite here, six to five for the victory. Equatorial Guinea at three to one, and of course the draw is at fifteen to eight. But for me, and I think a lot of the watching world, uh, I think uh, Equatorial Guinea have been the better side so far. And they should come out top of the 2 0 win. So, if my predictions are all right, this is how the quarterfinals will shape up in my eyes. We'll have Nigeria up against Angola. We'll have Cape Verde up against Morocco. We'll have uh, Burkina Faso up against Senegal. And then we'll have Egypt up against Equatorial Guinea. Who do you think will go the distance? Let me know down below. Of course, we look forward to seeing what you think will happen in this year's competition. Well, there you have it, folks. There you have it. Those are my predictions for the last 16. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know your thoughts down below as we look forward to those illustrious quarterfinal stages, of course. Who will go through? Who will go home? Of course, will we lose some of the big boys? Of course, we're guaranteed to lose a couple of the big boys as they are locking horns, of course. But who's your tip for the title? Let me know. And of course, we'll catch you later for the next one. But until then, we're done.